Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to add some JavaScript functionality to our front page. So in the last two videos, we have been designing this front page and we have designed it completely, but uh, we need to add some functionalities to our web page. So if I go to my original design, here we can see that when we click on this search button, we want to have this search box displayed over here and when we click on it again, it should go back up. And the next thing that we want to do is uh, when we are on a smaller screen, when we click on this uh, button over here, we want to display this menu. So these are the two things that we are going to do in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, in my CSS here, I will add two lines of code. So here I will set the opacity to 0 and pointer events to none and we are going to change this in our JavaScript and we'll also go down in our media queries and here we will uncomment this so it will be set to display block. Now we'll go ahead to our file browser and here we will create a new file called main.js and we will add this in our HTML file. So we'll go down before the body tag ends. And here we will type script src. And here we will type main.js. Now we'll go to our main.js file. And here we will add the functionality. So first of all, we will reference all the items that we need to change. So I will type const and menu icon so this will be our menu icon so I will type document dot get element by ID and here I will type menu icon and I'll just copy this three more times and I will change this to slide out menu and this to search icon and this to search box and we will do the same over here so slide out menu search icon and search box now first of all we will add the functionality of the search icon so we will type search icon and we will add an event listener so we will add the click event listener so whenever this icon is clicked this function will be executed so we will type function and here we will create this function where we want to show our search box. So here we will type if search box dot style dot top equals 72 pixels. Then we want to set the search box style top to 24 pixels. And also the search box pointer events to none. So this will be executed when the search box is still visible. And when it is not visible, we want to execute this li these lines of code. So we'll type search box dot style dot top equals 72 pixels and search box dot style dot pointer events to auto so this is going to show our search box when we click on the search icon so let's just save this and check out our website so here if i will click on this button we can see that we get this search box and when i click on this icon once again we see that it goes back to the original place so we have completed our search icon functionality now we'll complete the mobile navigation functionality so here we'll go ahead and uh, add an event listener to the menu icon and we will add an event listener for click and we'll create a function just as we did for the search icon and here we will type if slide out menu and this should be slide out menu so slide out menu dot style 
dot opacity equals one then we want to set the slide out menu style opacity to zero and the slide out menu style dot pointer events to none so these two lines of code will be executed if our menu is visible and if it is not visible then we have to execute these two lines of code so I'll just copy this and paste it over here and change this to one and auto now if we click on this icon over here we can see that we have this menu displayed over here when we click on this once again the menu disappears and once again if we click on this search icon we get this search box and when we click on this again it disappears so this was a short video of adding a little bit of javascript functionality to our front page so in the next video we will design all the other pages that we want for our website so if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.